Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here. We're back with some more Pokemon Legends Arceus, and oh my god, we fell off. Anyways, in the last episode, we did a few requests, and some of them were back to back to back, and we were able to do them in quick succession because I completely forgot about doing them. Uh like after each uh, area. And in this episode, we start off by getting this wisp over here. And we're gonna be catching that dust gall real quick, as we also have a couple new requests in the Cobalt Coastlands. So without further delay, let us be on our way. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but I guess my instinct was to make it rhyme anyways. Anyways, I don't know why I said that word twice. Uh, gotta go all the way here. And Oh, I guess in the meantime, I guess we could also find yet another... Uh, whoa, what the heck was that camera angle? Anyways, we get to find yet another... Yet another... If you're going to be acting like that... Please let us somehow make it there. I don't think Weird Deer is supposed to be going through that. Uh, never mind. There's another wisp up there. I feel like we could make it up there, though. Oh, yep. This is, like, the perfect spot. See? Always works. Alright. Get another wisp down. Oh, yeah, you can also catch a conch crow up there if you guys really prefer that. They're all the way up there as well. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I haven't been really playing this game too much recently. I've been uh, pretty busy. I've uh, been also playing some uh, other games in the meantime. Uh, mainly uh, some Ultimate Dive. It's been a while since I've played it. I probably might stop playing it eventually, like, I always have these, like, very frequent breaks from it, like, back and forth, uh, oh, crap, of course, I always have, like, weird breaks with it every now and then, that's, like, understandable, because, like, I don't, sometimes you just don't really want to deal with that. Like, just, uh, playing against, like, really... Eh, just some really bad people. Not like bad as in their skill, but rather, like, how they behave. Like, I would rather not deal with that. But, yeah. Uh, I guess some other stuff. I've been playing some more Princess Peach Showtime. And uh, I tried out the new WarioWare with my sister, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, maybe I might make a review of it. I know it was a game that came out last year. Uh, I actually do really want to, to review it. Uh, really? I don't want to... Oh my god. Excuse me, I just want to catch you. I was not expecting to see that Dusk Noir there. Yeah, it is an alpha as well. It's kind of, cause like its eyes are already red, so it's like... Pretty scary to see. It's already raining here. Get this wisp over here. There's a lot of these wisps on uh, little islands. Whoa, what the heck was that camera angle? Oh, come on. Oh, backstrike? Super slow-mo? Come 
come on. I just want to catch this one thing. Wait, we already caught it? Okay, never mind. I was like, why is there the Pokeball icon there? And, uh, just like that. Anyways, there's a few more here. Oh, wait, did we ever catch Mantike? No, we did not. There's another Pokemon we have yet to catch, but yet it was on our, uh, little bio. There we go. Really? I thought we caught it. I was like, for sure that we caught it, but I guess not. Please catch. Yay, alright. Yeah, we really do need every Pokemon, so that's why I'm just like, if I see a Pokemon that I've been caught, yeah, I'm just going to immediately try going for it. And I swear, every time I go here, like, even off screen, it's the only place I've gotten with the space-time rift, and it just pisses me off. Oh my god, that is an Alpha Driftwim in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, it just kind of upsets me. It's like, come on. I just want one time where I don't have to... Uh run into anything like this. Uh, satchel over here. Quest is over here. Well, now I get up here, you know. It's like the other episodes didn't really matter. It's simply incredible. Hey, you there, Survey Corpse kid. I need your help catching a Pokemon. The Construction Corpse is busier than ever, and these people, in these days, making homes for all the new people in the village, we don't have enough labor to handle everything, so I figured why not try and see if we could, if Pokemon could help us out. I searched around for a while for a reliable Pokemon, and that wouldn't need much training, and I found, and I was lucky enough to find an incredibly robust Pokemon called Machoke. I would love for Machoke to join us. I don't have the fanciest idea, or the faintest idea, of how to go about catching a strong-looking Pokemon. First thing to do is to, first to do then is to learn more about Machoke. Show me it's complete. Of course, it's Pokemon I can't really do anything much about. See, I think. Oh wait, never mind. There's just some wild Ma Ma Machokes over here. Fun fact: Machoke actually isn't very much aggressive. It just chilling out, wants to flex its muscles. It's running away, weirdly. And it weirdly wanted to join us. Okay. I'll take it. Anyways, I guess the other requ- There's another Machuk? Okay. Why not? What do you like to eat? Uh, wants to do some sidestep training. Oh, it does like honey. I guess it's more human than we thought. Also, my... For some reason, I've really begun liking the Machop line a lot the past year or so. Like, I think it was probably... I don't really remember. Like, probably like at least two, three years ago. Like, during the pandemic, I really started liking the line. Funnily enough, it was because of the death battle. Well, yeah, I don't know. I just really started liking uh, Machamp because of it. But, like, even just, like, playing, like, Pokemon games, like, even Pokemon, for example, I was just like, wow, this Pokemon has a lot of uh, charisma and a lot of, like, energy behind it. It's just, like, such a really feel-good Pokemon in terms of its personality. Anyways, let's see what this guy wants. Oh, aren't you the Survey Corps member who quelled the Lady of the Ridge? Well, listen to this. A couple of Apoms stole my pack of my full pack of full goods. 
They've been darting around, leading me on a chase, almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. It's like they come back too. It's like they're showing. They're like saying, "Ha ha! You can't catch us. You must be dealing with poke. You must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my pack back from those Apom?" All right, let's go get us some Apom. I suppose after this, we will, we will likely be uh, continuing our main story. I did want to do just a few more requests before we uh, really stopped. <sighs> Let's make our way through, shall we? And oh boy, uh, I can't wait. Uh, I've been really... Oh, wait, what? Why? I... What? Wait, I am confused. Hold on. New Were Wars, setting up coastland camp. Wait, we never did that? Keep an eye out for Epom. Okay. Wait, I am very confused. What... What are we doing? Like, I guess we go to Apom, like, the area where all the Apom are, but, like... Huh? I am extremely confused. Like, where are they? Oh, wait, what? You saw me out here. Didn't even think you would turn and run. Yo, I'll make you regret that confidence. Now you face the middle sister of the infamous misfortunes, and this clover plucks you. Uh, yeah, this will happen if you will randomly run into the misfortune sisters one of them by themselves, and, uh, yeah, I was not expecting this at all on my run through here, and I guess Muramasa could get his rematch against the Abomina Snow here. One X Scissor. Ah! Oh. oh my god, Strong Style, oh, it's gonna be like a Grass-type move. Damn it. Couldn't get his revenge, but Azure will avenge you. Come on, get him. Also, I have been commissioning some fan art uh, for this let's play, and uh, I really want to show it off the first one in this, the end of this episode. Uh, shout out to Pit the Swordmaster, he's my good friend and uh, the guy I commissioned for uh, basically any of the art that I've done for this let's play. Well, he's doing the art, I'm just doing the let's play, but yeah. I will likely show that off, but yeah, it really captures, uh, each... The second one really does capture, uh, each of my teammates' personalities. Drop something once you fled. We got three bags of Stardust, so making some money there. Okay, I guess we'll do that some other time. I really... Oh, wait, we still didn't do the... I realized we didn't do the camp over there. Or wares. Oh, we could do that as well. Okay, this one we still need to do as well. We might as well, I mean, just in case we need to go back here. I feel like we should have, though. Uh, it's so good to be back here. Uh, there's no other, it's not like the uh, other episode, like the yesterday's episode, where uh, I had a Pokemon, no. Uh, that uh, we were supposed to catch later on, but I realized that we ran into it, and uh, 
It's not going to be on our t team for a while. Not until like 10 levels later, but I really want an alpha Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, definitely really fit what we needed. Uh, definitely another heavy tank. Anyways, uh, somewhere, uh, I have no idea where this guy went, honestly. Sorry for the yawning, uh, I always record these very late at night, but I feel like, uh, I feel like soon I'm gonna start actually, uh, recording these much earlier, probably at, like, the evening, rather than, like, super early in the morning. That way I'm not yawning and I'm also, like, not blat babbling on about, like, uh, about my recordings. Like, I'm just, like, not knowing what I'm saying half the time. Like, I'm just keep going on and on without much, uh, like, of an idea of what I'm saying. Because I'm that, like, sleep-deprived. And also, I stutter quite a bit because of it. I guess it's also a mixture of, like, how I act as well. Alright, I think we'll just help out Mr. Choi and, uh, get the dust skull ready for its close-up. Alright, let's, let's go home. I guess. Alright, we'll do those two to give to Mr. Choi and also send the picture. And then we'll be on our way to the Coronet Highlands. New place, finally. Let's do this. Really excited about this uh, upcoming area. As it's a, a pretty, I guess, like cliff based area, it's a lot of uh, steep, like, locations, a lot of uh, mountain. It's a big mountain range, basically. Uh quest that you have. I have the Pokemon. There you go. Finally. What a hair-raising spectacle. Yes, I'm certain this is the Pokemon from the photo. Well, now I've seen a, a clearer example of the real thing. I'd like to get a proper shot. Okay, there we go. And we get even more photography studio stuff to add on. And quickly, while we're here, we'll go and give Choi the items that we need for his request. Oh, we have to bring it to the, the old man. Okay. All right, all right. Ah. <sighs> Keep thinking when the request is over, just keeps going. Some Ginkgo Gil members down here, and there we go. Can okay, I do for you? Let me errands for Choi again. It's very similar to the last time. Let's give him the pop uh, pods. Ah, Papa's Cobalt Coastland's finest feature. You'll find these fine sea vegetables washed ashore. They're best known for the key ingredient in scatterbangs. Those lively items are for scaring off Pokemon. Alright, I won't send you back to Troy a failure since you brought me these Pop Pods. Pop. Tell him I, I will set him up with some new wares. Well, we gotta be walking back and forth and being a messenger for an old man and a shopkeeper. My favorite thing to do. Alright, you can finally have some new wares. Hooray! Alright, now that we're done with that, let's finally go to the Coronet Highlands. Yeah, we only got one more area after this. So, let us be on our way.
Hornet Highlands. There you are, my girl. Welcome to the Cornet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock and ground type Pokemon about these craggy boulder strewn heights. And up there, right beneath the great rift in the space time, is the peak of Mount Cornet itself. Its mag magnetism, wait, magnetism for, from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Alright, we're going to make our way up the mountain with Inigo, and, uh, got some runes here, and there's some Pokemon that are, uh, pictured here on said runes. We have a Clefable here. It's a statue of Pokemon, but who could have made it, and how long ago? We got one of a Probopass here, for the same description here as well. Seems the ancient people have done it. We'll have, uh... Really know what Pokemon are, are uh, local here. Uh, we won't be really going over any Pokemon, but wow, just look at that. I am going to uh, probably talk about this location more, but I'm here to say one of my most wanted uh, regions kind of got a few things already uh, from this. Uh, from uh, Pokemon, several Pokemon games already. Even though I want it as a region, I think I will talk about it more in the next episode. Yeah, oh, we already got Yen Mega and Lux right here. Wow. Not Pokemon on my team, but yeah, these uh, are some really uh, incredible Pokemon, to be honest. Guys, want something, uh, gr like, honestly? Of course, Parasect is still here. Why not? It's like everywhere. But uh, yeah, I think next time on Pokemon Legends Arceus. We'll be finally starting the Coronet Highlands, and we'll also be discussing, we'll find where In Ingo went, and we'll also be discussing my, uh, what I think of, uh, well, that region, well, that fan-made Pokemon region that I really wanted to come up with, and never thought that, uh, that country would have as much representation, but it already did. But, yeah, we shall see you guys then.